What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode eight of our Millwall career here on Football Manager 20. And today we have got a big old game here against Middlesbrough. As you can see, they are sitting there in fifth, and we sit here in sixth after 41 games played. Now, it's been a long time since you guys have been back, and we've played through about two months. Yep, 15th up to the 10th. We've played two months worth of games. Last time you were here was West Brom Fulham, and then we said, well, after both losses at home, we said we'd skip forward because we didn't really expect to not be in the playoffs um, as we got toward the end of the season, as we were starting to make a little bit of a gap, and we weren't really close enough to the top two where we'd go ahead and really pull off a way into that top two as you can see seven back of West Brom and five ahead of Leeds so we're still in that section it could get a little bit dicey toward the end we'll see who Leeds actually play toward the end of their season Stoke, Swansley, or Stoke, Swansea, Barnsley, Derby, and Charlton um, yeah they got Derby here but they don't really have too many more difficult games do they um, so yeah, we'll have to we'll have to see, um, but a win against Middlesbrough, of course, would do us the world of good. We're only going to do the one game today because we have a little bit to get through. It's obviously been two months um, since you've been in, so we'll take a look at how we did in those games after West Brom and Fulham. Afterward, we, you know, we got back on track a little bit. A three nil win over Preston. You know, just a nice turn back around. A Jed Wallace hat trick. He's you know, he's really turned himself around the second half of this season, Jed Wallace. And then we jump into a game and struggled a little bit at Wigan. Jake Cooper giving us a goal there at the end. Very even game. And, uh, you know, grabbing a draw. But after that, we went on a little bit of a run. I've clicked on Birmingham City here on <laughs> accidentally. But a 4-0 win at home. Bradshaw, Cooper with two. And then Jed Wallace with another. Up to 25 minutes, we were 4-0 up. We didn't grab another, but very much dominant throughout the game. And then Bristol City, a 4-1 this one here. Um, an own goal from Alex Pierce. We've conceded a lot of own goals this year. Um, but after 40 minutes, we were 3-0 up. Jed Wallace with another goal. Romeo and Niguez grabbing goals. And Bradshaw, of course, grabbing himself a goal as well. Um, pretty dominant there, regardless of what the stats say on that one. And then we have Nottingham Forest. This was a huge game at the time. They were sitting just behind us, and now they've fallen off a little bit. But um, this was a pretty large win for us, a 1-0. Jed Wallace again. We were very much dominant this game, but you know, eventually we <laughs> found our way forward and grabbed the goal. And then a 2-1 win at home over Derby. Very much the better team in this one as well. They got a really really late consolation 92nd minute but Bradshaw and Cooper once again grabbing us the goals ever since we switched Cooper and switched our corner tactics to give Cooper well we I mean we didn't really do anything specific we just <laughs> aim all our crosses at Cooper and now his incredible stats get him tons of goals and then we had a really disappointing one here Barnsley who were in the relegation zone at the time started off really really well with a Shirovella goal after two minutes and then yeah, Jacob Brown and Patrick Schmidt hitting us back. And Bardsley get the win. That was very disappointing. As you can see the stats, we were very, very dominant. Could not find a way through. Very disappointing result there against uh, Barnsley. And then we had a 1-0 over Swansea. A good win. Very much the better team once again. These home games were really good. Uh, last episode you saw us lose at home of course to Fulham and West Brom but for everyone else we're really really good at home Niguez with another and he's uh, had a good second half of the season as well and then here a nil-nil with Charlton another game where we were much better but just couldn't find the back of the net so doing really 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 well for ourselves um, we can look at a couple of these things here um, Bradshaw, of course, on 13 goals. We're going to go to the squad and take a look at Jake Cooper because he's been scoring quite a few goals. Um, as you can see here, uh, where has he gone? Jake Cooper, there he is. 12 goals on the season. <laughs> and most of them have been in the second half of the year. Um, so that's pretty impressive. 12 goals on the year. One in the Carabao Cup. 11 in the championship. He's... Uh, 
he's been really, really good in the air. The issue with him scoring is that on the ground, he's seemingly not brilliant. Um, as you can see, jumping reach 19, strength 16, heading 16. That is perfect for what he is, especially at six foot seven. He's bound to win headers and get goals. Um, but on the ground, he's just not brilliant. Decision making shows up all the time when we do these um, live commentaries. He's not making the greatest decisions all the time. Um, agility is not the best. Acceleration not the best. Pace is okay. Um, but he can get beat quite often. He has, if he's not scoring, he has a, a few 6.5-ish type games, and that is not really that great. Shiravella here came in, of course, 10 appearances, has a goal on the assist at 6.95. Not brilliant. He's also sort of playing out of position. We've been playing at an advanced playmaker, but he's probably better off deeper. Um, but because we don't really have a great advanced playmaker at the moment, he's been filling in there. You know, playing okay here and there, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. Um, Tom Bradshaw, not playing too, too badly. On a 7.1, 13 goals, 3 assists in 37 games. Not awful, of course, but, you know, he's also not the most brilliant player. He's been playing pretty, pretty well. So, you know, across the team, we're playing pretty well. Um, so, it's not too, too bad. We're not playing brilliantly, of course. Last five games, as you can see, Romeo, Ferguson, both playing particularly well. Gardner having a good year as well. Um, I want to bring him back. We can actually try it right now. Let's see. Loan offer, 100% of the salary. We're just going to make that offer and see if we can bring him back another year. He's been playing really, really well. Um, there are some players who are not playing brilliantly, of course, but, you know, most players are getting back to their normal best. Jed Wallace has a 6.82 the last five. Um, not great over the last five, necessarily, but his second half of the season has turned around quite a bit. Um, obviously, of course, not the last couple games, but as you can see, his, you know, he's been doing really, really well. Um, the second half of the season at least. Um, one more thing we have to do is check out our youth candidates. And we've signed some of them, of course. Um, we did get our intake, of course. There are a couple of players who are okay here. Um, he is on trial with us. Uh, we have offered that contract, just making sure. Um, he's okay. A um, lot to learn. We can go to the under-18s and take a look. We didn't have really too, too many come in. Um, that's the guy we were just looking at. And then, of course, these are the other two we've signed on. Not the most brilliant. So we're going to have to kind of see going forward. But yeah, not the greatest uh, youth intake. But let's jump into this game. Hopefully we can go ahead and grab a win. They beat us last time out, but, you know, a lot of teams have beaten us last time out, but we've had a good year. Um, Niguez is starting. He's been playing really well. As we were talking about last time, I'm thinking that Mahoney moves over to the right and we figure out a left winger next year, a better left winger, um, to move in on that side. Um, Mahoney just doesn't play well out there, and he plays well on the other side, so... We may just do it that way, but Malumbi is back. He hasn't played since he's uh, just yet, but he is back from his broken everything, and it's kind of tore away at his um, at his physicals there. Why can't I take a look at it? Where am I? How do I look at it? Attributes. Here we go. Um, so physically, as you can see. The physicals have fallen off just a little bit. Um, down a little bit there. There's acceleration, agility. Gone down. Balance, not too much. We'll go take a look. Pace. So it's all falling a little bit. Whether we bring him back, I'm not so sure. He was already kind of a benchish kind of player, so I'm not so sure we bring him back in on loan. But, you know, we'll see as we go forward. But let's jump forward into the game.
this is the starting line we've been rolling with. McCarthy's in for Romeo, who's got a bit of a knock. Um, but everyone else has been the better, uh, you know, been the better players at the moment. They're starting and playing relatively well. Um, so we're just going to roll with this team, and hopefully we can grab something out of this. So let's jump into it. It's a big game. It is a big game. There's an opportunity here for Leeds to get within two should Middlesbrough beat us out here. It's not what we would like to see to start off as Jed Wallace launches that forward and the highlight ends. But we have a throw in here in their third. Can we get an early opportunity a minute and a half in as that goes out for a corner? And hopefully this is Cooper right here. And we just aim it right at Cooper. It's launched in and Cooper's going to get to it. Oh, and Jed Wallace is the one to put it away. Cooper with an assist. And he's just always winning those headers, man. And it is such... A weapon to have someone of Cooper's size, heading ability, and jumping reach. Those six foot seven with what was it, 19 jumping ability and 16 heading, that is brilliant to have as they swing a ball in as well. And the guess is going to get onto it. Can we break here? We're f under four minutes still. Another would be amazing. As Naguez gets to Jed Wallace and he's scored again. Two for Jed Wallace in the first four minutes here. And what a start! Brilliant from Neguez who collects it on the outside of the box and just races to the under the end of the uh, the other end of the pitch, box to box there, and Jed Wallace in off the post. It just crosses the line, and two goals for Jed Wallace inside the first four minutes. What a start we've made here, and on the on a roll already. That's what we like to see. They've had no shots yet in the first ten minutes. We've got two goals. Really couldn't have asked for a better start, could we? An unbelievable start here at the den. And at the moment, we are still very much dominant. Niguez, he's going to go for goal, and it's just wide. Niguez has come along quite a bit, too, in the second half of the season, or final third of the season, starting to contribute a little bit more, which is obviously what we want to see. And it's uh, helping us out, considering Mahoney on that left side is just not really putting in the performances. So... It's nice to see someone else step up on that left-hand side as they go in and Bialkowski is forced into a save. First attempt of the day for Middlesbrough comes just under the 20-minute mark as Cooper heads that ball away. Matchy, Brown, can they get another opportunity here? Housen, Clayton, they're moving the ball around all right. Kind of hoping this highlight ends sooner rather than later. But they are patiently moving it around, picking and probing. As that gets out wide to friend. It's in. Johnson's on it. Here goes for goal. And Bialkowski holds on to it. And we deal with it. Not too bad. They're holding on to the ball. And it happened that last highlight. But um, not too bad on our end. Though they've dominated the last 10 minutes if you want to call it that we haven't had a shot they've been holding on to the ball and they have a free kick here very dangerous Brown to take he does take it Bialkowski does not save it it goes off the bar very close I want to do I want to say demand more do we say get creative we have a corner. All right. There's the get creative. It gets slung in. Cooper's going to get onto it. Heads it down. And Shiravella can't quite steer it past Randolph. Very nicely done. Got a couple players inspired, which is good. But we are moving into the final five minutes before halftime. Middlesbrough have a corner. It gets slipped in. Is Jet Wallace going to get onto that? No. Brown is. And can Middlesbrough recycle this? Or can we nick it and go? And Thompson has nicked it. And he races forward. And he forced something here. He goes for goal and Randolph with the save. Not too bad on our end. We're going to have break opportunities, especially when they hold on to the ball. It seems from set pieces, you know, we have the opportunities to hit them on the counter. Shirevella not having a good game. Bradshaw not having a good game. But not too, too bad. We've done rather well. I'm going to say I'm very pleased. I don't say that at half times very often, but we're going to say it here. Another goal would obviously be great to just kill this game off. A goal for them would 
turn it into a difficult one. We may move to get Bradshaw off the pitch. We haven't used Brewster too, too much. I kind of bought him in knowing that we wouldn't eventually pick him. We, chances are we weren't going to pick him up at some point. Um, so he's more of an emergency kind of backup. Bradshaw is very much the first choice. Um, so we'll see if we can bring Brewster on anyway, though. As Cooper slings it forward, he does has a lot of those balls. We talk about his decision-making a lot, or we have been talking about it a lot today, and he has a lot of those balls forward that are just wayward and not great. And we do turn over possession more than I would like in situations like that. Jed Wallace is coming forward with it. He's racing forward and goes for goal, a bit tame. But he did all the hard work before the tame effort. Um, I was going to make a change there. I think I'm going to take Shiravella off, but they are racing forward here, so we'll see what happens first. Tavernier shots in, has it blocked. Niguez, he slings it forward, and Bradshaw is going to get onto that. And Bradshaw's in on goal, and he's finished it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's what we want to see. It's 3-0. What a ball from Niguez. An incredible ball, really. Look at this. Once again, Niguez picks it up in his own box, and he's just smacked that forward. Inch perfect as Bradshaw's ahead of his man. Gets in on goal, finishes it up. Brilliantly done. And it's 3-0, and we've been very, very good today. We're going to bring Sean Williams on. Hopefully he can bring a little bit more experience and... A little bit better play. Shervell hasn't been great today. And Wallace is on it. Can we grab a fourth? He is on a hat trick, of course, and he's racing forward. And Wallace, he's finished it, and that's his hat trick. His second one of the season. The second one of the hat last half season there. And Judd Wallace, you know, we were talking he wasn't that great the last five, but he was brilliant, really, the second half of the season. And then he's just picked, he's hurt us. He's picked it up. A hat trick today for him. The winger showing us why we were right to keep on with him and he's got himself three goals and we've surely got the win now Middlesbrough being put to the sword here we've been very very good today very very good very clinical 11 shots and we've finished four of them very clinical as that comes in it's gonna be headed down Brown puts it over the bar and it is out and away. Wallace is on it and has it clipped away from him. Garner's going to get onto this. Hutchinson, Bialkowski, Cooper. Nicely done. We're moving the ball around pretty well. Niguez cuts inside. Sean Williams plays it out and it's cleared away. And Ashley Fletcher is going to get onto this. And he's going to race forward here and puts a shot off target. We've had three clear cuts and two half chances. Very, very good forward play from us today. McCarthy clears it. Can Bradshaw get to it? He can. And he's going to play it forward. No, he's going to race forward. And now he gets it to Jed Wallace, who goes for goal and has it blocked away. 20 minutes to go. And as we said, game is probably over as Cooper goes very close as well. He's had a ton of goals we were talking about this year. Um, we'll bring... Who I want to bring on? I kind of want to bring Mahoney on. We'll bring him on on this left-hand side. See if we can get him something today as we've been much the better team. Two assists for Niguez as he goes off. Bialkowski collects the free kick very, very assuredly. He's had a pretty decent season, Bialkowski. Um, we're still looking at other goalkeepers and things, trying to see if we can upgrade that position with a permanent player, but... He's done pretty, pretty well as Williams goes really, really close. I am going to make one more change. I'm going to make it at the 80-minute mark. I don't know why I'm nervous. We're going to make it now. We're going to move Williams back to deep line playmaker. And we're going to bring Billy Mitchell on, the youngster. And he'll play attacking or advanced playmaker. And hopefully he can make a bit of a contribution, get that experience, help him grow just a little bit. As he comes on in a game, we are thoroughly dominating. And it looks like we are going to go ahead and win as George Friend is injured. And they are down to 10 men. It's been a very bad day for Middlesbrough, who don't want to be caught by leads, of course. And this is not the performance you want to see 
out of them if you're of course a supporter or whatever it may be Mahoney clips that ball in Bradshaw almost gets to it Hutchinson's gonna just gets by his man gets it to Mitchell he's gonna go for goal not quite he finds Williams and Williams forces a save but a very very impressive win 4-0 looks like this is gonna be the result we're gonna have to see where we are well we're not gonna see where we are on the table we're gonna be one point behind Middlesbrough with a chance to go ahead of them I would love to finish fifth instead of sixth. that would be ideal as we are two minutes over time and the whistle should finally blow and does a brilliant win for us as I said we'd love to finish efforts were excellent we'd love to finish ahead of Middlesbrough um, we'll check the table Wallace superb in front of goal at a boy we'll jump forward just a touch if we can finish fifth and get a better draw that would be ideal let's jump forward and get these games going the Leeds game is obviously very important we're currently eight points ahead but they have that game in hand with four games to go it could be five points still we will have to see hopefully well nope Leeds won four nil it's passing by right there Leeds won four nil <laughs> not what we wanted to see not what Middlesbrough wanted to see it's going to get a little bit dangerous as Leeds are a proper good team and they're gonna cause some problems here after 42 games we're five points back of Fulham see I don't want to play West Brom I do not want to play West Brom over two legs so if I can ideally pass up Brentford or Middlesbrough and get into this position and you know in an ideal world maybe QPR drop down into a third spot or into the third spot we play them toward the end of the year at the beginning of the year we beat them at home and they're top of the league at the moment and away from home is when we hopefully we'll see we'll have to see I'm gonna play these two games in between Hull and Blackburn and then the we'll do the final day of the season QPR and Huddersfield and then we will uh, and then we will do the playoffs should we get into it and not completely um, bottle this praise Brewster has been training well um, let's go to the home page look at the table one more time yeah Brent all right let's see who Brentford play over the Brentford and Middlesbrough who do they play over the last four um, look at this run from Brentford in there now would be the time to play them wouldn't it they play Darby Preston Stoke and Barnsley um, decent enough on their end you would think and then Middlesbrough play Bristol, Reading, Cardiff, and Sheffield. So everybody has an easy-ish schedule on the way out. Um, nobody plays some top-tier teams except us. We play QPR, but everyone else, you know, these games are winnable. So, you know, of course we only need nine points from the last four, right? What are we, five ahead? Um, so eight, well, eight points from the last four, right? Uh, Leeds can get up to what 12 83 so yeah we only need eight points from the last four that's very much doable two wins two draws over the last four hopefully we can but we will see you guys but i'm going to end this episode here i hope you folks of course have enjoyed it stay tuned for more and peace